Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and this is my island, Xenia. If you missed my community post, I actually had a lot of technical issues with this video, so I'm really happy that we're here today actually viewing it. Before we get started, I wanted to thank all of my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you're not a member and you would like to become one, the link is in the description so you can do that. Let's talk about what we're doing today. I had a thought the other day that I thought was possibly an original, unique thought. And it's, wow, what if I made a floating shopping district on my island? I'm absolutely positive that someone has done this before me, but I'm gonna do it today because why not? This is how the map currently stands. As you can see, the biggest build so far was the neighborhood build in the bottom left. So we're gonna go ahead and branch off of that to start the shopping district build. I'm going to start right here at Kiki's house. That is going to be where you can kind of access the shopping district. I'll let you all chill and vibe with the music while I get the base started for this build. It's going to be a ton of terraforming, but I actually really like how it turns out. So I hope you enjoy. Now that I've closed up a lot of the water that's taking up space where I do want to build cliffs, I wanted to create a sort of jumping occasion here, a jumping opportunity. So you get to jump twice, once from Kiki's house to the little like slender piece of land, and then you're on the path itself. My concept here is to do a pathway that exists over water. So that it's kind of like a bridge but yeah, so it'll be like the shopping district is its own little island. So I'm gonna lead the path first to Nook's Cranny and then it's gonna go a little bit further to reach Able Sisters as well. And I, like I said, I think that it turns out really well. But yeah, this is where I'm starting. I wanted to go ahead and build up the path so that I could visualize, you know, how much space I have to work with, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm doing now. I did indeed choose some new pathing to use for this area just so it wouldn't blend in with my other builds, really taking advantage of the 100 custom design slots for once. But please be patient, I will be adding this path as well as several new codes that I don't use in this build that I did in fact find and download. I will be adding those to the link in the description. In the meantime, if there are any other codes you would like to see that I've used on my island, they're all there.
If you're new to my speed builds, this is what I do to mark where I'm gonna place my buildings. I always outline them before I actually move the building just so I can see exactly how much space they're gonna take up so that I can terraform without the building itself being in the way. Here I am creating the island for Nook's Cranny and I will be editing the cliffs behind where I marked the building as well. Right now, I'm sort of building out the path to where I imagine I'm going to place Abel Sisters. I don't mean to catch you off guard, but you guessed it, self-care check. I hope that you are eating and drinking water and taking your meds if you need any. Uh, remember that you matter. Even if the day is hard, you still deserve to persist through it. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Right now, I'm trying to make sure that I have enough space around Able Sisters so that it feels walkable and not cramped. And then I'm also creating this space to put an incline here so that you can access the shopping district, nearby resident services as well. So you don't have to go all the way through the villager neighborhood in order to shop at Nook's Cranny. I just felt like that would be a good ease of access addition to my build. I was pretty confident in this placement for Able Sisters in the incline, so I went ahead and skipped forward so that I could see these buildings, see, well, this building specifically, but so that I could see the surroundings and better gauge how I needed to terraform around here. And since I've kind of completed that, I do go back near Nook's Cranny and start working. I really want to create like, the illusion of an island even though it is connected by the pathways so i'm gonna board up all this like water and everything nearby nook's cranny and then i'm gonna create you know like a little river valley between nook's cranny and uh, the cliffs behind While we move right along here, a fun story about this build is that I actually became inspired to start working on it at three in the morning and then I finished it at six in the morning. And then the technical issues I mentioned earlier kept me up at my computer trying to figure out why the file was glitched until like eight in the morning. But when I tell you I was so relieved that this file like fixed itself, it like unglitched. I don't even know. I'm not a tech expert. I just know that one minute the video was not working and the next, here we are watching me build. That's like really scary for a content creator as far as like speed builds go because you can't really replicate those unless you tear the whole thing down and that just sounds awful. Terrible.
here I'm working on the backdrop for the view you'll see from beside Nook's Cranny. I'm gonna have like a little seating area there and it'll be overlooking the river valley and in the distance you'll see these waterfalls just to give the area some height, some texture, to make it dynamic and I think they work out really well. I love doing waterscaping so this was really fun. I really wanted to add some variance to the paths that I use here, so that's why I used the in-game wooden path for Able Sisters and the terracotta path here. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did for my Strawberry Cafe build, which is to line the terracotta with the clover border. Again, codes in the description if you need them. But yeah, I really liked the way it was coming together. I really did want this space to feel pretty small, not in a claustrophobic way, definitely in a walkable way, but for it to be a very narrow space because I usually gravitate towards giving Nook's Cranny and Able Sisters pretty large spots on my island, and this was a fun challenge to try. As I kept going in this build, I realized that my main obstacles here were my lack of furniture. I don't really have that many things collected, even though I have been working on Xenia for like, I think over a month now, maybe. But I, I think I make it work. I wanted to keep this area, especially around Able Sisters, very small, very cozy and put together. And I think I managed that. I also realized while building that there was no way I was gonna finish the entire shopping district area just because it does span such a wide area of the map that it would have taken like 12 hours of consistent working in order to fill in every empty space. So I'm gonna give you a teaser here actually is where I start that of uh, what my concept is for the rest of the build and we're just gonna work as we go along to kind of finish this area because I feel like decorating alone could be a whole nother build it's not gonna be I do a lot in this build but filling in some of the empty spaces between the lifted path that happens in later builds I was on the fence about how to decorate this waterfall. It is creating like a view when you jump from Kiki's house to the pathway. That was my goal for this, but I was curious about how I should decorate it since it will also border the 10th villager's house, whoever that ends up being. J manifest Kabuki for me, please. 
but I just kind of gave it some generic decor for now. I figured later I could always change it if I wanted to. Also, while I was building, I was like, why not build another little island by the path as like a view? So I made the nook uh, angled sign and I was like, yeah, this is some good stuff. My island really decided to get kind of spooky here as the rain was about to start, but this ended up being probably the most complicated part of the build because I was trying to make sure that I terraformed the water correctly, but surprise, surprise, it turned out well. I wasn't mad with the shape of it. I'm not mad at how it looks on the map, which I think I show you at the end, perhaps. But yeah, I think this turned out so cute. So this little like island format with running water everywhere, that is kind of what I want the whole area surrounding the shopping district to be. But let me know if you think of anything that could go in the center of the shopping district, that just like flat land that sits between the pathways. Okay, friends, and with that, the build is complete for now. I am really happy with how it's going. I was wondering how it'd fill up all of the empty space on my island, and I just think that this project did a pretty good job of that. So let's go ahead and look at it. I'm loving all of the shrubs. I can't wait for the area around this to be super lush as well. But as I said, you can gotta get a sneak peek at what I want the rest of the area to look like here with the islands and the water. That's kind of what I want on the right as well. But like I said, if you can think of anything pretty cool that would fill that space, do not be afraid to drop it in the comments. I think this is my favorite part of the build. I really liked how the Nook's Cranny overlook turned out. I was very impressed with the final, the final look of it. I love those waterfalls. I love the river valley between. I feel like it's subtle, but still good. All of this, of course, is going to be edited as I go along to kind of create nice views as you're walking through. But yeah, then you end up here at Able Sisters and you've got a floating shopping district. You just get to walk along, enjoy the views, enjoy the land bridges. I thought it was fun. I thought it was a cool idea. As promised, let's take a look at the map. You can see on pretty much the center of the map, you got Nook's Cranny and you can see where I'm standing. The pathways are pretty angular, which is gonna be a nice contrast with some of the more natural terraforming that I plan to do on the island. And it's a pretty big space, but I think the water looks cool so far. So I can't wait to see what it looks like when the entire area is done. Thank you all so much for watching today. I really hope that you enjoyed the build and that you're feeling inspired for your own islands. I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day and here's Peaches to tell you all goodbye for now. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.